Hey everybody, Patty Ann here for part two of the tutorial on making the banner. And several of you asked where was my coffee in part one, so here we go. <laughs> okay, as I said yesterday, or in the other part of the video, I used rat tail. Although you don't have to use this because it's probably more expensive than using um, the uh, flo embroidery floss. I just don't have any embroidery floss on hand, so I'm going to use this. And so to make your tassel, you can use your hand as a measurement, or if you'd like, you can use a piece of um, cardboard or something like that. So in the tutorial that they did at Cricut, they just went around their finger, or she just went around her fingers a bunch of times. I guess until she thought she had a fat enough tassel. I think that will be pretty good. All right. And then you make sure that you cut off on the same side. So since I started with this at the bottom, I'm going to cut this also at the bottom. Hopefully my scissors still work. All right, then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this bottom, all of these loops on the bottom. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of fold it in half and take this piece here and just wrap it around a few times and tie a knot. Sometimes you need to use your teeth if you're working by yourself. Try to get it nice and tight. And now these are all going every which way. So what I would probably do is take my heat press or my easy press and just give them a little iron to get them all going the same direction so they're not willy-nilly like that because of the coil they were in. But that's all there is to it and I can trim this piece off or I can feed it down through here with a pin and then I would simply glue it onto the back like that. And then for the dowel, you just have a dowel like this and again using either your embroidery floss or this um, rat tail. Just kind of start wrapping it, well, start wrapping it around until you're happy with it. And then just tie a little knot that can be hidden in the back. Or actually, if you leave it long enough, the end, you can shove it inside. And that's what I usually do. I'll show you in a sec. So here's one side done. And I didn't really leave that long enough but it may work, let's see. So then I'd stick it in here and this little end from the knot, I would just go ahead and stick that in like that so it's hidden, okay? Then I would just come over to the other side and figure out how long I want this to be and just start wrapping again and then I would cut this off, but I'm not going to because I'm not actually making this piece yet. Cut that off, knot it, and stick it inside. So then we'd have this glued into here. And again, I would, you know, press these so that they would stay down. And this on top. And that completes your project. So. Thank you very much for joining me. Again, if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you again. Bye-bye.